Poodle is a free and open source software. That means anybody can install it in their server. But the thing is, most of the institution, they will not have their own website server, the web server. Technically, we will call it as a web server where all the website or institution website or any other courses or if you are using a, your own webinar uh, server. So all those things it will install it on a web server. It is like a, uh, you know, it is like a giving a space to install all the all your software, required software on the web. So that is called web server, basically. So uh, uh, to use a Moodle, again, uh, institution has to install the Moodle server, uh, Moodle software on their server. But if you don't have that option, and if you don't have a, your own server, and for the immediate purpose, you can use some of the, the, the hosting uh, website. So for example, today we are going to export a uh, hosting platform called Genomeo. So that is a where you are, you're all going to create a, your own course on the Moodle. So, uh, I'm just opening the Genomeo website for now. So let's open Genomeo.com. I'll give all these details in a public chat and also, uh, in the WhatsApp group so that you can also log into this. So this is a website where uh, uh, I was, I'm talking. So Genomeo is the the another website basically they are giving a space they've already installed a model in their server and they are giving that model server for all the educators and teachers to create their own courses uh, but for now it is free for example so uh, today you can create a courses you can practice all the courses you can create a number of courses all those things possibilities are there but suddenly if they if they want to stop this free service then they will stop it. Then you, you have to download all your courses to offline before that. But if the institution is not able to offer a, their own web server for installing a Moodle, even this Genomeo will give a, uh, they will give a hosting services. So here is, there is the plan. So currently we will use only in today's, we will use this uh, free service. Okay. So for the free service, there is a details here mentioned in this box. I will take you through this uh, later. And there is some paid version also. Paid version means you will have a more control and you will have a more features to add it. For example, if you look at this and this features, there are a lot of features which are enabled under the paid version. But it's a you know uh, it's not required for all the courses. So it's depending on the kind of course you are offering for the students. So there are two other pl uh, plans are there. One is shared hosting plus and uh, premium virtual server, but we will we will try only this free service. So under free service, we can use, uh, you can up to 500 registered users, you can call for the you know, enroll for this uh, courses. That means uh, 500 students can register for your courses and 50 concurrent users concurrent means both faculties manager uh, co-editor co so all those things are the concurrent uh, users so 50 courses you can create under the free service uh, 50 course and 2gb they will give a space to store all your data related to Moodle, whether it is a text video images all those things they will give only the 2gb of space for individual account and uh, there will be a 100 limit 100 mb upload file size limit so you can upload the or you or a, the learners they can upload their uh, files up to 100 mb okay so this is a free service so to start this first what we have to do is this is the actually domain name okay the site name genomeo.com Okay, I'll just copy paste this in a public chat so that everybody can access this quickly. Uh, where is the... So this is a website. Don't click on that now. I'll just uh, give a brief uh, description about this. So basically, Genomia is a website, right? So this is the address. Now what we have to do is before creating your uh, uh, the course, First, we have to create our own site within this. That is, we will call it as a subdomain. This is the main domain. Genomeo.com is the main domain. But if somebody wants to, or if you want, 
after you create a course, if you want to share that link, uh, just one second, then you, you should have a subdomain for that. So here you can create a site name. For example, right now it is genomio.com and I will add my uh, course site, the subdomain name. I can add anything for it. Hello. Yes, sir. We can be able to hear. Yes, sir. Sorry, you're not able to hear. No, we can hear you, sir. Okay. Should I repeat anything? Is my voice okay? Shall yes. I continue? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. okay, okay. okay. Okay, so first it is saying that give the give the site name. So let's say I will give a site name called uh, uh, okay. Let's say our office name only itfc.genomio.com. So this will be my the Moodle course site name. Okay, to do that we have to give our email ID. So first I have to give a email ID. But all of you, my request is. Give a email ID which you know the login password because it will give some, it will send you some confirmation links which you have to log in, which have, you have to log into your G, uh, ID, email ID, and you have to confirm through that link. Otherwise, it will not activate your uh, the site. So here I'm going to give a uh, my uh, email ID. Okay. So then there are some terms and conditions if people wants to. To read that briefly you can roughly you can go to that and i'll uh, do the tick mark and i'm create clicking on the create site so once i click on the create site it will give a notification saying that the activation link has been sent to the register email id but i'm not going to click on that but be because before that, if anybody have any doubts or any questions, please ask me because once I click on this create site, then it will this this window will vanish. Though it will go. Any sir, questions? Good morning, sir. Yes, ma'am. Good morning. Sir, Yana Sir, good morning, sir. That URL you type that ITC is uh, common for all, sir. No, no, no. You can create your own course. For example, if you are creating a site that the Moodle site for your institution, give a institution name. Okay. okay. If sir, you are okay. creating a co okay, courses for your personal purpose, like for your own subject, yes, sir. not for the institution, then you can give your shortcut names. Like for example, my name is Rakesh B. So I can say rb.genomio.com so that people can easily uh, access this course because my link is will, will be very short. rb.genomio.com is my Moodle site address. So yes. my suggestion is yes, don't yes, give the long name. For example, you know, if I want to give a name, a uh, site like ICT in education, auto, whatever. So this will be too long. So that's why I'll just, for the practice purpose, I'll give you ITFC. Same way. So yesterday, you have, all of you have logged into karnatakaeducation.org.in slash LMS, right? This is where you have all logged into the our Moodle course. So this is the address. So same way, you are creating your the Moodle site address here, basically. So my suggestion is keep it short. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Any any doubts? Okay. If there is if there is no doubts, I think then I'm going to click on create site now. Yeah, look at the uh, the confirmation. Your site is being created. Within a few minutes, you will receive an email with the login details. If you do not receive it, please check your spam folder. Okay, the thing is, it is saying that few minutes. That means it will not send immediately. So you have to wait for a couple of minutes. Then it will send a uh, email with all the login details and the and your site address, everything. It will send to email okay so i'm just waiting for the that uh, email so i'm using this so 
So I've not had to receive any email now. So let's wait for the couple of minutes. Then uh, once I get a email, so then uh, I'll show you that. Thing. Can all of you do this? Go to genomeo.com. Okay. Try to create your Moodle site address, the domain. So as I, as I said, uh, please uh, keep it very short for your site name. So should we click the link that you sent or? Sorry, ma'am. How do we have to go, sir? Should we click any link you sent here or? Yeah, I, in the chat box, I have sent a link to the Genomia website. Okay, so we have to go click to, that and... Uh, yeah, go to Genomia website and follow the steps. So once you finish this, please let me know in the chat box. And also, it will take a few minutes to send the notification, the confirmation email. So, in the meantime, we can explore. Can you send one more time, sir? Sorry? Can you send one more time the link? It is not showing to me. Yeah. My colleague, Ari Sir. If you have any confusion or if you find any difficulty, please let me know. I can explain it one more time, no problem. <clears throat> this Dr. Danyama shared uh, her uh, domain name, subdomain name. Great. Sir, this is Sujata. I got a, uh, the site has been created, it says. Hmm. Then what I have to do, sir? We have to wait, madam. They, it has to send a mail to our uh, registered email ID. I have to open my mail ID, huh? Yeah, just keep it open your email ID. It will take some few minutes. Because, okay, uh, for example, everybody now at a time, uh, we are sending the request to the genome. Now, okay, just sir. now I received the email now. All of you can observe here. I just got a mail from the Genomeo website. I hope all of you are able to see my the email which I got from the Genomeo. Right? Yes, sir. So then my Moodle site name is now it is itfc.genomeo.com. This is my site, the Moodle site. And for the login, we are the admin because we are the one who created this. Uh, domain so username is admin this you can't change it and there is a password so this is temporary password but later we can change it no problem so same way please all of you in the next tab open your gmail or what whichever id you have given and uh, wait to get the email from that Okay, Dr. Gnanam and also shared the, uh, the Moodle site name, I think. All of you can share your uh, the Moodle link, the site link, in the public chat. And right now, you are not yet created any courses in, inside this. So if you click on that uh, other's link, you will not get anything. Please, uh, Swaraj, madam, don't share your uh, the ID and the password. That you keep it only with you. Okay, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Okay, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sir. Uh, don't send any of, any of your username or the password. You just send the website address. So now going forward, you also have a your own Moodle server. 
for at least for practice or at least to offer one or two courses for your students. So you don't need to depend on the institution to host the Moodle server. So until that, you can use this this uh, service, which is freely giving from the by Genomio. Bef actually, the story was before the even the Moodle website itself. It was giving a it was offering the free Moodle hosting for all the educators. But unfortunately, because of the overload, so the too many requests, they stopped giving a free services. That's why now Genomio is giving. So until that Genomio feels uh, it's, you know, getting a overload, so it will give service for this. Free. Okay, I'm not anymore. Okay, if everybody, everyone is done with the creation, Please go to your Gmail ID or whichever ID you have registered, and then uh, uh, then check your email from the genome. So just one minute, I will come back. I am going to mute. Okay, I'm back now. So I hope all of you uh, received your username and the password through email. Can all of you confirm in the chat? Haven't it received email? Okay. Please check your spam folder also because that notification itself it is saying that sometimes the mail will go to the spam. Look at here. If you do, do not receive it, please check your spam folder also. Okay, so uh, let's wait for another few minutes to all of you get the email from the Genomi website. Uh, but in the meantime, I will come back to our own the, the Moodle course, which we have created in on our Moodle server. So here, uh, we have given a handout for uh, Moodle practice. So if you go to day three now, today, so under day three, I've given it two links here. So one is the Moodle documentation for teachers or teacher educators. So if you click on this, it will open a user manual, which Moodle, uh, the provider has created this uh, quick guide for the teacher educators. This is one handout. And there is another handout, which specifically for the for all users, not only for the uh, teacher educators. If somebody is, you know, for example, some students finding difficulty, they can access this Moodle documentations. So this user manual for both students and as well as for the uh, teacher educators. 
So there are two links. Apart from that, what I what we used to do is we have another website, our own website. In that, we always create a user manual for all the fast tools. So anyway, on Monday we are going to discuss about fast and other things in detail. But I'm going to show a Moodle handout here, which we have created. So there is a user manual called Learn Moodle. So this is a paid name. And inside this, same like a, uh, the link which I have shared it for uh, Freeplane and Voco screen, the same kind of page. So here there is a Learn Moodle. So inside that, Sorry, again, I had a, some network issue, so I joined back. So let's share my screen again. OK, so I was uh, explaining about this Learn Moodle page. So I just I'm going to share this link in a in our chart window so that all of you please uh, take this link and make a bookmark in your browser so that uh, whenever you need any handout Moodle handout you can access this okay now how many of you are the uh, received a email can you confirm in the chart window Or you can unmute your mic and speak. No problem. Sir, we are already, already open, sir. Sorry? Sir, already open it. Received the mail and open it. Great, great. Okay. Most of Not you are received. Yes, received. 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 Sir, I haven't received. Being created. Sorry, sir? I haven't received it. Okay. Sir, I do haven't I received can't it, receive it, sir. sir. Yeah, that is a notification, but you have to log into your Gmail ID or whichever ID you have given for the registration. Go to Gmail or go to yeah, I open my Gmail only. Sir. I mean, ah, check, uh, check the inbox. inbox and uh, go to search and uh, search for a genomium. No, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, no problem. If you are not at received the email, what we can do is please note on all the steps. Okay, uh, instead of waiting for all the all of you are getting an email, so instead of that, uh, I'll start this uh, answer activity. We are not at received the email. Please uh, note on all the steps which will, I am going to show. Then you can practice later. Okay, sir. Is it okay? Okay, 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 sir. Okay, okay great. Let's come back to my email. OK, so here it is saying that your Moodle site is this. So I'm going to click on this Moodle site. So yeah, it is opening, itfc.genomio.com. OK, then if you look at the window here, I'm just zooming in. On the top left side, you have a Moodle and WOM. Right now, I'm in a WOM section. 
and here they have given an advertisement about their uh, the paid version okay we don't need to worry about that just on the top right side you have a login button click on that login button and it will ask you to enter your username and the password the username and the password is here so admin is my username i can type it directly then the password is this one so i'll just copy paste this okay so once i enter the the username and the password which genomio sent through email then i can click on the login button since i have too many logins i'll always save my logins in my browser nobody is using so i will save my browser but if you are using a college uh, desktop or something then i will not suggest you to save your password but if you are using a laptop your own personal laptop please uh, better to save your uh, login detail in your browser so good. okay so expand to explore it's okay we can anyway we'll do a hands on we just close that and now it is saying the welcome admin can all of you quickly do this go to your site now the site addresses you, which you have shared it in a window start window use the admin and the password and login and others in the meantime please uh, keep checking your email or not at receive the, uh, the confirm username and the password <clears throat> All of you quickly do this, log into your thing. See, once you logged in, you should be able to, like before login, I was able to see only Moodle and the Worm. And after I logged in, I can able to see the dashboard, my courses, site administration, and on the top right, right side, I have a edit mode and my username details. Same way, you, will, you should also get all these options. So once you, you get this, please confirm in a chart window. Moodle side. Okay, most of you are confirming that logged in. Uh, I got it, sir. Logged in. Done. 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 Oh, great. Most of your received the email yes i think it's good to go for next part so look at the screen now again i'm going back to my the site so now if you look at my address bar it is saying that itfc.genomio.com and right now you have some tabs on the top side top window so home dashboard and courses and admin so under home you will have the general instruction about the uh, about uh, Moodle and the control which you you will have that from the Genomio and settings and other things is all these are the site level settings so which I will take you through later for example this is a site name okay and uh, the short name for site is the Moodle you can change it if you want okay so for example short name I will keep it my name I'll say Rakesh LMS. Okay. So if I want to give a brief summary about my site, I can type it here because of like under this institution, I'm creating this course uh, for this particular batch of students and whatever the things, uh, the purpose of this overall, overall moods, Moodle site, you can mention there. Okay. Then some few other things are there, which we can uh, discuss later. Once you do that, you can just click on this uh, save. Save changed. Okay. Now, if, now the very important thing is creating courses. So before going to creating courses, again, if you want to change your password or something, same like yesterday, you can go to here, go to preferences and change your username, the password and other things. You can change password from here. 
you can edit your profile so all those things you can, you'll always you'll get it under username and go to uh, preferences and be, uh, yesterday i was uh, showing that switch to role right and yesterday all of you are not getting that uh, because you're uh, you're registered as a student in that course but since this is your own course if you click on that you will have an option called switch to role can all of you confirm that that option is there that yes, means sir. you are admin it's there. yes sir yes it is there so if you click on this switch to role if you click on that switch to role so in the moodle these are the roles are available across the moodle site so sir, one is sir excuse me sir yes. sir, I didn't, sir i didn't get the switch to role uh, is it coming under home no you click on the username on the top right side you will have a a u or something here okay, yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I got it. Thank you, sir. Okay. All of you. Sorry, sir. Okay. So, all of you, uh, just uh, come back to Google Meet. You just observe, look at here. Uh, I want to briefly explain about each and every uh, the role here mentioned here. Manager is the site level. Like, for example, uh, in your institution, there are some one technical person who will take care of all the, you know, uh, software updates, Moodle updates, or a user's registration, everything if the person is taking care, you uh, will be the manager so that you will take care of all the courses and backup under students registration, everything will taken care by manager. Okay, so in one site, there are more than one people can be the manager. So for example, in your uh, uh, branch, there are six faculties. And all six faculties, you are going to use this the same Moodle uh, site. Then you can make all this faculty as a manager so that they can add a student, they can remove the student, they can unenroll. So they can take a backup of uh, other courses data. So all those things, they can do it. So it is a site level, basically. The course creator will have an option to only the cre to, to create a courses. They can't do other than that. And teacher will have an option to, they, uh, as a teacher, you can create a courses and, and you can uh, add all the content. You can add all the activities, assignment submission, activity, attendance. So all those things you can take and care by the teacher, the teacher role. And same way, non-editing teacher is this, for example, uh, in my course, I want to add a faculty. I want to add a especially guest faculty, which you don't have a, you should not have a edit rights. In that case, you can add them as a non-editing teacher. So teacher, but they can't edit anything in this. Okay. And the other one is the student. So student basically, the whatever the, the course will offer, the content or the activities or the this assignment submission attendance everything they will participate but they will not they can't do any changes in that and guest is they can only to see all the content not all the content some of the uh, content in the course so guest will not have anything uh, great things and authenticated user and uh, these two i am not at uh, explored yet okay once i do that i can i can give a more detail in the whatsapp group in the later upcoming days is that clear manager is more on to technical background like if uh, to do all the technical stuff on this side course creator you will create only course and you will do all the content and the other things but you will you will not be the teacher so teacher will have a both you can create a courses teacher you can manage the course manage content and you can conduct the classes so yeah, non-editing cheater, you will not have any editing uh, rights, student, yes. But any questions, any any doubts, anything you want to ask from this section? Because this is very, very important when you are enrolling any of you. Like, for example, right now, you are the only user. But later, upcoming days, if you want to add a people to your course, you have to, uh, you have to give the right permission, uh, role for each of them. 
So please, if you have any doubts, any comments, please ask me now. Nobody's asking anything. Yes, Sujata, madam, you want to ask anything? Uh, yes, sir. I, might, I have opened, sir, but I couldn't mm -hmm. get this page like uh, manager, and that is not getting to me. That is on the top right side. You will have this AU the, after you logged in. Oh, logged in only. Okay. Ah, so you have to log in and it then. It came like sujatabalaji.genomia.com. Home, uh -huh. home now. Hmm. What I have to do, sir? Then on the top right side, in the in the same place here, since you are not at logged in, you will have an option called login. Click okay. on the login. Ah, okay, sir. And then give a username and the password. The username is admin, and the password is shared in the in your email. So please okay. check your email and put the password. So once you logged in, so Jatam, let's see what I've done. So to get this information, you have to go to okay. click on your username and go to switch to role so that you will we'll get all okay. the. OK, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. OK. OK. So shall I go ahead now? I will click on cancel because I'm not going to change any role here for now. I will now I'm going to the my courses. So if I click on the my courses, uh course under and categories yes, i understand that so right now i don't have any courses yet so no courses so there is an option called create new courses but once you create a one course minimum then you will not have this uh, create a new courses for the second time what you have to do is the other option is you can go to site administration okay then courses please all of you note this if you want to create a courses, go to site administration, go to courses. Okay. And here you can you can see that add a category, add a new course. Both options are there. Okay. So I'll briefly explain about what is category and what is uh, the new courses. I'll, for that, I will take my our own uh, web, the Moodle website here. So if I go to my Moodle home page, this is our uh, IT for change model website. If you look at this, these are our categories. Okay. So for example, all these colleges are the, the B8 colleges. So since we are working with uh, uh, some few uh, B8 colleges in Bangalore, we are conducting a lot of courses through Moodle for them. So what we have done is we have created a uh, categories by college wise. So all the all the courses belongs to this Sarvagna College of Education will list out under this uh, category. Okay, all the individual courses we created, it will come under this first category. So, for example, the refresher course will come under this, and this is category, and these are the subcategories. So, for example, you, for the category, you can give a college name. And subcategories, you can give a branches wise. So all the history courses will create under history category. So like that, you can create a category if you want. Like, for example, if you are going to offer a multiple courses and later if it's very difficult to manage the all the courses in one place, then better option is you can create a categories for that. Even uh, it's not required to create during the creating courses even you can later also after you create some few courses if you feel that you want to create a categories then always you can come here and you can create a category okay but courses is straightforward so it's uh, it's related to your uh, the course so for example i am going to click on this add a new course now and i will quickly repeat the whole step again sorry so i'm going to if once you logged in if you want to create a Courses, you have to go to the site administration, go to the courses. Under courses, you will have a option called add a new courses. Add a category example, as I said, you can create a categories by branches, by year wise. So all those same options are there. So it's open. But now I'm not going to create any category. I'm going to create a course for now. So I'm going to click on a, add a new course. So I'll I'm going to click on that. So this is very, very important. And this is where you will configure your courses, how the course should be look, how the content should be shared with the students. All these things will be configured under this page. Okay. 
Explain, one of your explain, ma- sir. yeah go ahead sir shall we prepare uh, shall we create a new category for us now yeah yeah you can create no problem yes but why don't you create a course then later we can explore that category instead of directly creating a categories but yeah, if sure, you are comfortable to create a categories you can go ahead, no problem but uh, since i am explaining the courses let's focus on courses first then we can uh, explore that category options is that fine okay sir okay fine yeah so go to create a courses and uh, uh, my request uh, also one more request is don't do it any ants and parallelly when i'm explaining try to be there because anyway i will give 5 to 10 minutes to to all of you to practice so better you just uh, be in a mo- uh, the google meet screen and please look at the steps then you can uh, take a time to practice definitely i will give it uh, practice for each and every the bit of uh, features okay so let's come back to here click once you click on the add a new course this is the course name let's say here it is a course okay so let's create a course can i create a course on uh, fos in education this is my topic so this i'm going to uh, create a course on my this topic fos in education so all of you have chosen a topic right so yesterday you have, some of you have changed the topic so my suggestion is better all of you create a course on your selected topic okay so i'm going to create a course on this and this is a course short name course short name short name always it will be useful because moodle will uh, redirect to the any you know it will route to the course based on this short name so short name is very very important for the the software purpose so i will give a very short name for this fos in edu this is my short name okay wherever this red mark is there what is this this is a mandatory yeah. field yes this is a mandatory field so right now as i said right now the, there is no category there is only one empty category category 1 but as i said you can create a categories and you can add uh, you can select categories from this list right now it is empty okay so now uh, course visibility right now if you want to hide this course because i don't have any content right so if i want to hide this course i can hide this course and whenever the course is ready with all your content and uh, all the details resources everything then you can come to this page and you can give a show option to show visible to everyone okay and this is a course starting date so today i think no this is starting from tomorrow let's start with today only then course end date let's say uh, 25th of this march if you don't want to end that course means for example you don't know when should be the right date to close this uh, course then in that case you can just disable this mark you please uncheck this if you are not sure about your the course end date then it will not close always it will be open okay so then the course id number it is just for our references no need to give anything and here it is a course summary like for example once you create a course uh, then if you shared this course link with someone like all the registered students then uh, you should give some information about this course so you can briefly explain what is this course about and what is the purpose of this course all those things you can briefly explain it okay so uh in this course you're all going to understand the fourth role in education i'm just going to give brief now uh this is the one month course and as part of this course all students must submit the as 
saying. So this is my course summary. And if you want to add a course for the image, so I, you can add a course image also. I'm going to add a one image. Uh, OK, I will add it later because you will get a lot of confusion. So for now, at least all of you just go to the course, uh, add a new course and do all these things. Then later I will explain some of the other things here. OK, I'm going to click on save and display. Let's see how it will come. OK, so now my course is created. Look at the course here. So the course is created and also there are some five sections are there. One is general section and other four are topic section. Under general section announcement by default it has added. But other than that, nothing is there. So if you click on each the sections, all sections are empty now. But the course is created. So can all of you do this? Go to add a new course, create your course. OK, and click on the save changes so that you'll create. So once you do that, if you click on your the my courses on the top left side, if you click on that, then you should be able to see the course here. Yes, please, all of you, go ahead and create your course. Create it, sir. Thank you. Sir. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Uh, uh, when we do this, uh, it is coming like category one, no? Uh, ah, will ah. it come like category one or can we see the main heading like if we were given commerce and management as the category you can category you can create later also madam once you create a category you can add these all the existed courses to that category okay. for now you can leave it uh, as a that category I understood. One uh, that i understood sir my question is if we look into my courses it is coming mm. like category one isn't it course name and the category one category name is not coming my courses if we wait, take wait. the um, front page my wait. this is like uh, here s s s here here my yeah, question is... is instead of category one mm. uh, can we have the category name though yes. yeah. it will come later once you create and add this course into that category instead of this category oh. one it will show the category name oh. i will show you that next okay Hello, sir. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, sir, can I say something? Yeah, please go ahead. So it may be out of the uh, uh, track, but I just want to know one thing that, as as you had said earlier, that when we are making a new course, okay, mm -hmm. then immediately the option that adding a new course vanishes, okay. Mm. Whether we do it by site administration or directly from my courses, but. Uh, it may we may require to you know to create another course okay like mm. it is FOSS in education so mm. it may be a uh, new course like FOSS in education part two okay mm. Mm. so in that case uh, how will we add uh, like a new course uh, like that so yeah you mm. if you want to add a new course always the under site administration there will there's option for courses go okay. to site administration go to courses okay. and uh, this option always it will be visible this add a new course here okay okay Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Any other doubts? Any questions? Any problem you are facing? Sir, I am not able to get that uh, add new course. Mm -hmm. So I have added that course mm -hmm. category also I have added, after mm -hmm. which I am not able to uh, do it. I think it's not coming properly. Like after uh, you go to my courses and see whether your course is created or not okay sir i just check that uh -huh. sir course start date end date course id number and not required no course start date yeah course start date is required because it is yeah okay but uh, end date it is not required you can just uncheck that option okay okay like i can do that uh, under okay, edit okay. option
Code See, there is an option called disable that. and enable the end date here. You can do this. Uh, enable, okay. So enable, okay. Of course, ID number not required. Not required, yeah. Okay. So after the description, we have to save us, huh? Yeah, after that, all the changes, you click on the save. Okay. So shall we go ahead? Shall sir, we post go? category, what we have to give in that, sir? Post Create category is no, not required. Yeah. Not uh, yet, yeah, if you want to create a category, for example, like history is your category. Oh. As part of history, you seven, create seven, a multiple seven, courses. Seven, After seven. adding number of courses, we can create uh, category. Method. Yeah, you can do vice versa also. Like you can create a course category and then add a courses yeah, under quarter. that category. Or else, but it is but, asking you must supply a value here in the course category. No selection. You must supply a value here. It says. Wait, madam. I will, I will. I will. Anyway, I will explain. Just wait for a minute. So others also. So can I go ahead and uh, show the category things now? All of you, can you confirm yes, in the sir. chart window or, or yes, you can just yes, okay, sir. okay, great. Okay, go ahead. thank you. Yeah, let's go to this uh, category. Go to site administration, and go to courses again, and go to add a category here. Okay. So the parent category. Right now it is showing a category one. Or, uh, let it be as it is top, the first category. The category name I will give it as a uh, like a charity. See, just I'll say this is my category. And I don't want to give all these things. So it just it's optional. The category name is important. Create a charity. See, this is my category. In your case, uh, like for example, you are a history faculty and you want to offer some multiple courses on uh, within that history then the category can be the history or economics or whichever subject you want to create and now i will create a category okay so this is how you can create a category now so you now if i click on this category one Sir, there is one uh, parent category means what? Parent category. Ah, so for example, uh, I said no category and subcategory. Subcategory, sir, for example, uh, like otherwise I will take it ulta. Category is a year, the batch. 22 to 24 is there is a one student batch. So you will create a category called 22 to 24. That is a category. And inside that, like for example, subcategories are all the subjects. For example, history, economics, and other things are the subcategories. Inside subcategories, you, you can offer a courses. Look at here. So I hope all of you understand. So don't worry too much about the subcategory and category. So mainly this is category, okay? This is our organization name. And inside that, again, we these are the subcategories. For example, we work with Kendriya Vidyalaya, uh, the KBS schools also. So this is my subcategory. That means if I click on this, inside that all the courses which we are offered for the KVS students, the KVS uh, the teachers, it will come under this subcategory. I hope uh, all of you understood Sir, what. Can I'm you click on the subcategory or the subcategory? Sorry. Can you open one of the subcategory? Yes, sir. That's what I am saying. This is category, okay? And then again, that the CT. Yeah. Then these are the subcategories. So, for example, mm -hmm. KBS is one subcategory. If I click okay. on a subcategory, then inside that, all the KBS courses the will come. Had... Come CT, under this. You need to. Can you click on that CT? These are courses, sir. Just a course name. Okay, okay. Again, if I click on this, it will take me to the 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 course page. This okay, is a okay, course okay. Act, actual course. Okay, fine. Okay. So, for example, yeah, uh, since I have a category now, I just now created a category called HRDC, right? So now I'll click on this HRDC. And uh, oh, it is not showing.
okay sorry so it is already an added under uh, the category one so otherwise what i have to do is i have to go to the my course now okay i'm just uh, repeating the steps i've created a category also category called hrdc but my the first course which is fast in education is already created and added deck under the category one here but i have to move this to under hrdc what i will do i will go to my courses i will go to that course here i will go to settings then i can change the category here under course settings now i will click on the save and display now if i go to my courses now before it was showing a category called category one but now the my category is hrdc under that the course will offer is that clear or any confusion sir can you do that once again sir <laughs> yes which part I should repeat, sir? So this the category, so this the change, category. changing of the sir, category. Add a new category. Add new category. There okay, first. Stops please, all of you. Yeah, please repeat, sir. You can, no problem. Go ahead, sir. Someone is uh, re explaining the steps. Okay, I will do it myself. So, just all of you, please look at the screen. The Google, don't do it parallelly. Go to site administration. This is for uh, creating a category. Go to courses. Click on the add category. Under this page, mainly the, the category name box. Here, give the category name. For example, let's say history is my category. Then click on the create category. Okay. So this is how you will create a category. If you look at my category list, there are three categories. One is category one. This is by default, the Genomeo will create this category, HRDC. And just right now, I created a category called history. So these are the three categories. Now, I want to move some of the courses from other category to the history. So what I have to do is, I have to go to my courses now. Go to my courses. Go to open the course, go to settings. Settings means basically your course related settings. Okay, fast in education related all the course settings. Under this, so this is your course name, this is your short, the course short name, and there is a course category. Here, right now, it is showing a HRDC. But if I want to change it to history or if I want to change it to the category which I just now created, what I have to do is in the drop down, I have to click and select the category which you want to add this course. Okay. So if you select a history, then the, the selection option also will change it to that. Then again, go to the bottom of the page and click on save and display. Now, the same, this fast in education course, if you want to check whether it is uh, changed to the uh, category, go to the My Courses. So in the My Courses section, it should show your course name and the category name. Hope all of you are clear about the steps. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, please. sir. Done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please, all of you, quickly do this. And uh, instead of confirming the chart window you can directly unmute and confirm because i'm not uh, watching the chart window because my another laptop is uh, the internet connection is not working yes sir got it thank you thank you yeah sir due to network issue i couldn't hear it properly <laughs> okay which part sir uh, i need to change category one okay uh, it is not showing on my my courses it will not show sir you go to the site admin 
others please go ahead and uh, finish the uh, practice you go to the site admin sir go to the courses go to add a category and create your category name here give a category name sorry sir sir your voice is breaking if you are not getting this option means you are not logged in properly please log in to your account then try yeah all the things sir the problem is that which one sir you are can you uh, make sure that this edit mode is also enabled on the top right side sir in my courses uh, i have given the topic name fundamentals of investments now go to site admin sir it, to create a course go to site admin that i already created but it okay, shows cat category uh -huh. created okay 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 you already created it now open a course like you are open. here no open your open. course yes you have a option called settings participants grades report like that open are you able to these options okay. go to course settings settings okay under that you have a course category the third option yeah from the drop down select your the category which you just created then and click on the save changes at the bottom okay thank you sir it's okay okay so shall we go ahead to, to the next part now so the creating courses is done okay now it's more on to enrich your course like by adding all the content okay let's move to that section now uh, can all of you come to the uh, the google meet screen please don't do any parallel session otherwise we are, uh, i i need to repeat the steps again and again so please uh, just a minute sir just a minute sir please yeah when i am explaining sir, it's better to flip the video sir sir i have a suggestion ah uh, let them yeah let them uh, split the window but i don't know how many of you are comfortable to split the window sir is suggesting you can split the window for example look at my screen what i am doing so if you want to practice parallelly uh in one side you keep the the bbb screen uh, the sorry the google meet screen and the other side you keep your uh, the site this way you can uh, use the uh, both there is a shortcut available for split window is uh, windows button and uh, arrow mark left or right okay okay since i am using a ubuntu sir yesterday i was saying no our entire organization is using only free and open source software so even operating system is also ubuntu uh, we are using so some of the shortcuts it won't work that's why i didn't say the i didn't mention my shortcut key use please try okay so shall i go ahead now okay so let's come back here i don't want to keep it under history category i just for the try it for for demo i'll keep it for under hrdc i'll click on save again before putting the any content on the on this section if you look at our own uh, the course uh, which is that let's take this our own course 
if you look at the the way it is uh, showing the sections here so it is showing on the top side you have a buttons right so these are the sections general is one section day one is another section day two day three these are the individual sections so if i want to see day three then i should click on the day three then it will show the content right this is how it is coming in my my our own uh, in mode server whereas if you look at here right now if you look at all your uh, the course you have created on genomeo it is showing all the topics in one page by one uh, uh, so, you know one below the other right so that means all the content will come in a one page if you don't like this view like you want to uh, you want to make students to click on the each sections to see that particular section content if you want to change the view to uh, that one topic view again i will show you quickly how to do that right now it is a all topic all the section will come in a one page okay but i don't want like that so people should focus only the particular section which i will tell you so what i will do i will go to the edit again Op i hope all of you have opened your courses okay under course page go you have to go to the settings again until now we just worked on the general settings under the the course settings right the course name shortcut category start date end date and the description but below that there are some other sections here i'm going to explain quickly this okay uh, so there is a section called course format if i click on this this will decide your course format so one is topic format single activity format so single activity format is like it will show only the activities it will not show the content the body of the the section it will just to show the the list of activities for example if you added only quiz activity along with the text body then it will it will not show the text body only it will show the activity first from the drop down so you otherwise uh, social format i think uh, all the show, uh, the forums and the chart those kind of things only it will show topics related is best format so that that is what all of you have selected that's why it is showing topic 1 and topic 2 topic 3 keep it topic format only okay the second option is basically for example you have created a course and you added some five sections okay and then you already enrolled all the students like there are some 50 students are there all the students are already started using the using your accessing your course but you want to create a one more section like you have a five section but you want to create one more section fifth sixth section but if it is not completely ready still you are working on that section to complete all the activities or adding uh, videos and other things so if you are still working on it you can hide that sections for the students right now hidden sections are completely invisible that means if you select this the sixth section it won't appear for the students at all until you show it uh, to the until you mark it as a show okay but you want to show it as a it should visible but it should not yeah it should say not available so these two options are there don't worry too much about this you just leave it the default one very important is course layout right now if you look at my uh, the course layout show all section on one page that's why it is showing all the section in one page but i will change it to show one section per page so if i click on this then i'm going to click on save and display so this is how you can configure your the section right now if you look at this okay it is showing one topic on the other but the content is not showing because uh, i have taken a one topic at a time so now for example if you look at that if i click on the topic one it will show only the topic one section content right now content is empty anyway i'm going to add a content for now uh, is that clear like if you want to change the uh, topic view or a sections go to the sections go to the course format under course format there is a course layout select this 
and take a one section per topic so that it will come in the the way we are uh, accessing our the course section like this instead of you know uh, this row wise link it will create a column wise link only but you have to click on that uh, particular section to see the content is that clear yes sir yes okay okay let's come back to the uh, the course content page now right now the what is this this is a general section and to do any changes in our course first thing is very very important is your the edit mode should be enabled if i disable this now see the look at the changes right now I, it is giving a small edit button a pen button so that i can edit this particular section all this once i disable this is not it is not allowing you to so your voice is breaking sir really what about others what about for others yes sir yes sir yes sir it was breaking a little bit can you just okay. reply the edit option okay fine now is it okay now is my yeah, now, now okay. it's okay Okay, 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 basically, sir. like if you are enable the edit mode, then only you can able to change the content in your course, whether it is a topic one section, topic two, whichever place. If you want to do any changes in the content, then you should enable this edit mode. Otherwise, it will not show this pen mark. Pen mark means you can edit. For example, I don't want to name the first section as a general. I want to name it as a all the, uh, let's say, important uh, or just say just important instead of general I want to name it as a important so I can name I just change the name so because I have enabled my edit mode if once you disable this edit mode then it will not give any edit option is that clear so whenever you want to change the content in your course you should enable this edit mode first. Then you can change the topic. For example, now I given a uh, important, and then the second section, I want to. I don't want to uh, give a section name as a topic one. I want to give a topic. Uh, let's say first take. You will understand what is fast in this course. Or. Uh, background about the course then second section should be explain about objective of the course then third section can be uh, about fast so now I'm just renaming all the sections before it was topic one, topic two, topic three. Even on the left side, you look at this. These are the section names. So this way you can uh, uh, rename the section headings. Can all of you create, uh, uh, try to rename your sections? Right now it is showing topic one, topic two, topic three. Please try to rename yours. Now you have to think, please, uh, before renaming it, Think about how you want to design your course. How many sections you want? Like at any time, I, we can create a sections. Uh, we can delete the sections. For example, right now we have only four sections, but there is a option called add topics in each section. Okay, so there is add topic under each section. So click on by clicking on that, you can create a more sections but for now please go ahead and edit your uh, the sections name so based on the section editing you have to add a content respect to that editing later
so once you once you're done it so please uh, let me know in chat window it's 11 24 i think uh, can we give five minutes break after this like around 11 30 can i give a five minutes break for all of you yes sir, sure. the, yeah okay. we have to go to court no sir under the main top sorry sir yeah to go, go, course, go to course yeah then, okay there is no go to course and then it enable this edit mode make sure you enable this then you can start editing this So if you are done with this, please let me know so that uh, we can plan to go for next activity.
Okay, shall we go ahead? Shall yes, we go ahead now? Yeah, okay, thank you. Done. Uh, yeah, let's move on to the, the next part here. I'll go to the course setting. Look at here. So the first section before it was general, but I changed to uh, important, but let it be general only. And under this, by default, the, it has added, already added an announcement or the forum option. So if you click on this, then directly we can uh, start the discussion forum. So by default, this Moodle will give a discussion forum. But if you want to add a, if, the, if this activity is missing, for example, by mistake, I will delete this. Okay. Before that, I want to explain this uh, three dots. For each section, there is a three dots here. So these three dots will uh, respect to this particularly only this section. So for example, if I click on this three dots in front of this general section, it is respected to this general section. Okay. So if I want to add, edit this section, I can go for edit section and I can add a content. I can add all the details under this. Okay. So same way, if I want to add a information about let's take a, about fast so if i want to add a content here i can go to click on this three dots go to edit topic okay so now uh, i think it's a summary type here and then click on the save changes so now if you go to fast and education for about fast section the content is added already added this way you can add a content for your respective sections this is the one the text content Whereas, if you want to add a content, like if, if you want to give hyperlink or something, uh, again, you can go to edit topics and you can use this toolbar. So there is a formatting or editing toolbar is there. Same like a MS Word or a, uh, any other Office tool, uh, LibreOffice. So there is a editing styles are there. For example, if you feel that the, the font size is too small and you want to make this as a subheading in under this section, you can take this heading or heading small, whichever the comfort. Okay. Or you want to make it as a paragraph, the, the default text format, that also you can just select and make it paragraph. And same way, there is a bold, italic, all the basic features are already given on the top here. So for example, I want to give a hyperlink here to this uh, fast. So what I will do, first I will find out the uh, related uh, FOSS website. Let's take a Wikipedia website. I want to give hyperlink for this. So I want to take the URL, come back, go to the link here, then add a hyperlink and create link. So this way I can I can add a link. So I will I'm going to click on this save changes now. If you look at my fast about fast section, I have a text and I have one hyperlink. So if I click on this, it will open the, the Wikipedia page. As a reference, I can do this. Okay. So yeah, all of you can try to add at least some content in any particular sections which you have created. Then we can take a break. Is that fine? Yes, sir. Okay. So quickly, please. You can, you, you, I hope you will, all of you will have some material in your uh, laptop about your topic or you just go to the browser and try to search some information and uh, put it under.
so when you go to the edit section you either you can copy paste from your word document like if you have any resources in your uh, word document about your topic you just go open that doc and uh, copy and paste it here Uh, so you don't want this uh, topic, so let's see. My losses able. Along with you, I will also start update my content here. So you can, all of you can uh, try to add a content at least for two sections. while doing it if you find any difficulty please let me know you will have five minutes to add a content yes sir excuse me sir yes sir, sir. Uh, as you have told that uh, i have taken uh, i have I, i've copied one you know uh, some youtube uh, uh, videos like mm. the, the link one mm. and i clicked on the link uh, like I will show you, sir. For especially for video, there are two way. One is you can just you can just paste it as a link. Also, you can embed also. I will show you both the options. Okay, okay. Actually, actually, the link is not coming. I mean, when I'm clicking the you know the, the uh -huh. thing. Uh -huh. but act, like, no not... problem. I will explain, sir. Sure, sure. Sir. But try to give some website links and a web page link, which uh, which will have a some text information or something. Video, I will show you. There are two ways. So eleven forty. So we have one hour fifty minutes roughly. What is the cutoff time for the session, sir? For the lunch? I mean, uh, sharp one or one ten or one fifteen? What is the exact time? Sorry, it is mentioned one. It's uh, one but, only, but uh, uh, one o'clock. If, every, if everyone agrees, we can go for fifteen okay. minutes extra. Okay, no okay. okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Sir, one small doubt, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. Uh, sir, uh, the credit uh, pen is not coming in. My, the, the, you told me. This pen, na? Uh, my course, sir. Yeah, yeah. Edit, edit. You uh, did you page. hope you are enabled this edit co mode on the top right side? One this one. Where is it? Top right uh, edit mode. Yeah, yeah. You should enable that oh, okay. to get all the edit pen options. Sir, if we, uh, topic I want to change, but uh, after sir, your voice uh, is breaking. Sir, after editing, it's not showing, sir. It's not saved. But uh, did you click on the save button? Otherwise, it won't save. You have to click on the save changes after you edit it. For example, like I, if I want to edit this section, this content means you are talking about the title, sir, or the content, the body of the topic, topic, sir. Topic. You just click on this pen mark. Yes, do sir. all the changes. 
okay and uh, then just press enter key it will okay, update okay. press enter key to finish it off yes sir it is coming after saving before saving it was not coming so it is coming after the saving ha for 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 content the section the body's content you should click on the save changes but for yeah. the for the title of the text the, the section you directly you just type it and press a enter key that's it it will change it okay so i think it's 11:40 now i think uh, all of you need a small break i think so we can go for a break i think 11:45 can we can we begin sir can we resume our session sure sure no problem sir 11:40 because we have a lot of things to add it in the course and this is the okay. last hands on for moodle i think okay sir so better we can use this time okay thank you sir so 11:45 we can uh, start again thank you so i hope all of you are comfortable now uh, at least we started adding a content right the text content now i will show you how, how to add some multimedia content whether it is image video audio uh, anything so okay so let's start this uh, before that i just want to show one more thing like on the on the right side of your screen so there is one small arrow mark is there okay if you click on that right now you, you will not see any of these blocks here But, but there is an option called. Ah, uh, sir, I think you are not sharing your screen, sir. Ah. Uh, what about now? Are you able to see the screen? Yeah. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yes. yes. so yeah so once you come to the course uh we just little bit explored about settings right and about the courses we just started working on it by section wise but before that like there are some few uh, features are available on this so on the top right side you have small arrow direction here if you click on that right i just now added a calendar block but for in your case you will have a empty here but it will give a option called add a blocks so if by clicking on that you can keep adding a blocks under this so that the students also whenever they click on this they can see all those blocks for example a calendar is one block so i added my calendar the course calendar into this so this is a shortcut uh, kind of a option so people can use this to quickly access some information either it is a calendar or a assignment or activities all those things you can do it now so again coming back to the section here so as i said if you want to do any changes in the content part not on the settings settings you can directly go and do all the changes but for the content okay for the resources always you should enable the edit mode to do all the changes so i just again enable this mode and uh, as i was saying if you click on the three dots you will have a, a few option other than edit topic i just want to explain that example uh, one is the edit topic which you all of you have tried that to add a content but apart from that highlight is there highlight means it will create some extra the color block kind of things so now if you look at the other blocks objective and other things but this have a extra color things so it's basically look and feel okay so for example ah uh, for example if i go switch to other blocks right now i am in a objective this block but only this about the course is highlighted here so this way you can highlight any of the the sections by using the highlight option you can remove the highlight also it's a, all these options are kind of a toggle buttons okay so uh, let's go to course again and uh, that is a one one is highlight i topic means which i was saying uh, when i was configuring the courses i showed that you can disable the or you can hide some of the sections until you finish that uh, adding uh, whatever the finishing the the section 
okay so for now actually i am editing this uh, about this course right the other sections about about you know objective of the course or about fast all those things it is not yet completed so what i will do, what i can do is i can disable this i can hide these topics so what it will do is even if you registered a student if you enrolled all the all your students they can able to see only this general section and about this course but as a faculty you or your colleagues if you have given a permission for them to edit so they can able to see all these uh, sections and you can work on it also so once the section is ready you can always go to here and click on the show topic so that it will start showing to the uh, students also okay so this is uh, again it's a toggle button so show topic and i topic okay move is something is very interesting thing so for example if you look at the the order of my section first is general about the course objective of the course about fast and topic four right so i want for example i don't want this objective of the course as a second section so i want to move it to down or up so then what i can do if i click on the move okay it will give you all the sections which i have already created in this course so these are the sections so for example if i click on this topic four just observe what it will happen if i click on the topic four now if you look at my section order general about the course about fast and uh, the objective of the course is went down after the topic three so this is how you can move the sections like after you added all the content and if you feel that the sections should be reorganized that is you can do it by using this three dots you can move all any at any time and very uh, useful sometimes is the delete option for example i don't want this topic three section so i can go here i can select a delete topic so it is just deleted from my course so look at here here also it is reflected same way i don't want this objective of the course i'll go here i click on remove are you absolutely sure you want to completely delete that yes let's delete okay now my course have only three section one is the general about the course and about false so this is how you can organize your content or a delete or a hide show all these things you can use it okay so is that clear if this is clear then i will show you how to add a multimedia this was yes sir yeah okay yes sir okay. let's go to the editing a topic so for example i want to add a image here about the course i want to add a small image here it's like a welcome image so i will go to edit topic and right now there is only one sentence is there before that i want to add a one image here then what i can do uh, so i can go to insert image or edit image on top menu bar click on that then it will ask you to give a repository it's very interesting for example let's uh, find out my the wikipedia page okay so this is a wikipedia page all of you know wikipedia right maybe anyway we will talk about this on monday session but uh, yeah wikipedia generally will have a text information and if there are some images related to that there will be a, some images so if i click on this image this is one image and if you look at the address bar this is actually saying it is showing the image path only that is this is the image path mm, sir we are not able to see the wiki page which you are showing oh really okay okay one second uh what about yeah, now, now we are, yeah now we are able to see the wiki page sir. okay okay fine no problem i'll just uh, refresh yeah look at this this is a wikipedia page and all of you know that wikipedia will have a most of the day text and the image information and if there are any video if they want to give they will always give a hyperlink to the the respective videos so le let's take this image so for example i want to use this image in my course 
so for that case you have a two option one is you have to download it to your computer and again you have to upload it on your course that is one option the another option most of the times especially if it is a oer content please uh, note on this if it is only the oer content then especially with the wikipedia directly you can embed the image so let's say i'm taking this image location i'm i'm going back to the the moodle course here it is saying enter url i'll give a enter url uh, i have to give a description this is the image about uh, some fast tools false tools. okay so then i can give a size and other things but let's try without giving anything here so i'm going to click on save image okay it's saying must and shoulda okay let's say 500 into uh, 350 this is the image size actually so i'm going to click image size here uh let's try to click on save button if the image comes that's good otherwise i think uh oh it is not coming okay so this option it won't work some most of the time so what we can do the second option i will show you now the second option is only the option is you have to download the image so let's download this image all of you know how to download images from the web uh, i'm going to keep it on my desktop this file i have downloaded this i'll come back to my moodle i'll i'll follow the same step only so i'll go to click on image okay So click on browse repositories, go to uh, upload a file on left. Oh, here it is, that option is there, I think. Okay, anyway, so go to upload a file, then you have to choose that file where the file is downloaded. Let's see. Uh, yeah, here it is. So choose the file, click on the upload, then give a description from Wikimedia. Size, it is it is taken a original size, like this is a, you, the big size image. I don't want 1920 resolution. I just need 550 or 500 into 300. Then I'm going to click on save image. Then I'm going to click on save changes now. Yeah, look at this. So now my course, especially about the course section, I have a fast that image and the text also. Okay, so uh this is how you can add an image and uh, sorry i will repeat the first two option which is that uh, direct url thing i did a small mistake while showing that uh, let's go back to add image instead of pasting url here you can go to browse url and go to uh, the url downloader or wikimedia sites but since it is coming from wikimedia only then download take a download option it has taken this image here select that select this file give a license since it is a creative common we should also give it a same creative common and share alike select this file and save uh, if you look at the both option, one option I just manually download it to my computer, but the second option is just directly I'm taking from the Wikipedia common by using the the logo, uh, sorry URL. So this is a direct adding. 
if i don't want to uh, add a image or you want to delete any image inserted image select and press delete key so it will delete from your section this is the adding a image and quickly i will show out i think someone is trying to your voice is not clear uh, sir in case of uh, sir, in case... you can your voice is too loud sir it's doing a call sir in case of choose license mm -hmm. uh, so what, uh, so what is the option we are going to choose like license not specified or something like for like example you you have to see the license which they have they have given for example if you are taking a image oer image okay while before downloading you see the the license which they have given if you look at the license for this image it is saying that cc by sa cc creative common by sa share alike so while adding also i should take the same license if it is a share alike okay okay thank you can i go ahead and show the video embedding also or you want people want to practice this image uh, adding Okay. Sir, sir, excuse me. Sir, excuse me. Ah. Sir, this we can do just by following copying and pasting also. No? Uh, copying, pasting. So, if, for example, the problem will be sometimes if the image is vanished from the server, then uh, it, uh, there is a chance to delete. The, it will not load the image in your your uh, own site. No, also. No, no. Just even after downloading to the system, then we can copy and paste. It is working. Okay, great. If it is working, oh, then you can use it. In our own Moodle server, it won't work like that. You have to upload. No, okay. If it is working, you can use it. It's depending on the the platform which you are using. In our own course, the Karnataka Education, which you we created a course, so okay. there it won't work. There we always use this uh, uh, method. Okay. Let's try to. So nobody replied from uh, to my question. So should I show video embedding also? Then you want to practice, or you will practice this image editing first. Based on your opinion, then I'll I'll do that. Because some for some people you might have difficulty with uh, image uploading also. So if you want to practice, please go ahead and practice. Sir, does this have a delete option, uh, like the yeah, deleting the image, uh, which I have? Uploaded. Sorry, sir, uh, do this have a delete option? I think uh, obviously it has. Like, uh, just, yeah, yeah. just do the single yes. click and press the delete key. Okay, okay. Give me five minutes so that we can practice this, and then we will do it. So please. Sorry, madam. Can we just practice? practice yeah, yeah, please go ahead. Do... Yeah, yeah. Whichever the comfort for all of you, it's good. I don't have any. Please go ahead, madam. Practice this. Try to download one image, but try to access only the creative common images, the OER images. Better, I will suggest if you are not sure which is OER, which is non OER, better you go to Wikipedia. Wikipedia will have ninety nine percent. Will have only the the OER images. So once you finish it, please let me know so that I can uh, go ahead and uh, show video embedding. Oh. Narayana sir, you can you can mute your mic if you don't.
Ja, thank you. Ja, sir. Sir, it is asking for the size, sir. Size is... While inserting the image, sir, in the last one. What happened, sir? Sir, size... I am sorry, if you are, if you are not talking... Please, can you mute your mic? Ah. I win, Narayan, sir. Please. Sir, it is asking for the size, sir. Uh, you should we take it? Yeah, size you have to mention. Like, for example, this is, if you look at my image, I have given a 500 into 350. All of you can try with this size. Basically, the size, like we, height and the width. Sir, width and the height. 550 is the width. If you give a more size, if you give a more size, the image size will be bigger. For example, uh, this image size is 350. If I put a thousand, okay, then my image size. Look at the screen. Image size it has changed. So basically, the size of the image which you want to put it. Yes, sir. Uh, Bhupat, sir, you were saying. Sir, same, same, sir. That's, uh, the size of the uh -huh. image and all. Sir, and one more thing. If after giving this description for the image, mm -hmm. uh, the image is not appearing, sir. Then you, you might not have a clicked on save image, I think. After you give a detail, like for example, uh, the URL and the description and the size. Then you have yes, to click sir. on the save image. It will take some time. If the internet is good, it will immediately it will come in your section. Otherwise, it will take some few seconds. Load. Sir, otherwise we can directly paste in the. the yeah, please copy. If the copy paste is working, absolutely no problem. You can copy paste the image. <laughs> But if you host your own Moodle server, it may not give a copy paste option. It's depend. It's depend on how the the site is configured. Okay. As I said, my site, like our own course, we, it won't give a copy paste option for images. Always we should upload and give all the details. Then only it will take the images. Okay, so please, all of you uh, participate in the session. Please, please confirm once you finish the. Uh, uh, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, sir, there is a problem. Uh, it's not showing, but um, we have got some message that image is there. But if you click mm -hmm. there, uh, nothing is showing. I have saved the image. I have given all the descriptions as per requisition. Uh -huh. uh, the so what steps did you follow, sir? The second one, uh, uh, like. Just giving no, the link. I, I, have, I, I have pasted the URL from Wikipedia on diagram. Uh -huh. Aha. Okay. okay. See. Uh -huh. Don't there don't copy paste Wikipedia link here. Go to the browse okay. repository. Okay. Go to that URL downloader here. Okay. Upload file means you can upload your own file, downloaded file. But URL downloader means it will directly take it from the Wikipedia site. So go to URL downloader. And paste the link here. Okay. okay then click on the download. Okay. Then Thank it will start searching all the files. In that, you select your whichever the the whichever the image you want to add. Image you want. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank yes, sir. You. Shall I go ahead now? It's done. Okay, so Rasar is done. Remember, is done. Oh, great. Okay. Few of you have already done this activity, image adding. But please. Please. 
uh... so the after saving the image description is not visible oh. to other I V Narayanan, please mute. Sir, sir, this is Sujata, sir. Sir, I have downloaded, but it is not getting saved. After I am coming out, it is not showing. I have downloaded from the URL. I couldn't save it. You need to give description, then only it will show. Yes, sir, I have got. Now it's showing. Hello. So now it's showing. I have got it. Hello. Hey, it's it's mute. Okay. Yeah. No. What is the problem, sir? No. Now it's okay. Uh, according to your what you have guided, so uh -huh. it's not showing and everything is fine. Okay. Fine. Okay. I'll disable. Shall we go ahead now? I will show you some few other things which are like, let's say one video. Uh, for video, what you can do is there are two ways to add a video. Again, same like an image. If you click on the video embed here, all of you look at here. For video, audio, both uh, the same icon will work. Click on the video uh, here. And if it is a video, go to video and Put the URL, okay. But if you have your own video which is recorded from your phone, and you want to upload that, but you have to make sure that the file is not exceeded uh, with the size limit. So, if I click on the upload here, so in this site it is up to 100 MB. So I can up, I can uh, upload a, up to 100 MB size. But most of the sites, for example, in our own site, we have only 500 KB file size limit. We restricted that because otherwise, people, you know, students will keep uploading their videos. Then it will, uh, you know, uh, overload the server, our website server. So that's why we are restricted to only to 500 KB. So in that case, like if you don't have a, uh, if you are not able to upload, then what you can do is you can upload your video on a YouTube. And you can embed it here. So I will show you that. But if you want to upload a small video like 5 MB, 10 MB video, you can go to upload a file. Same process which you followed for the image. Go to the video. I don't have a small video, any of the video. So Sir, take any of the. Uh, you're not able to see that. Itself, we can record and also add. Na? There is an option showing like that. Maybe, yeah, you can try it out, sir. I not used that. When but I'm you can clicking try it. record, it's uh, mm. asking. Yeah, it's coming also. Great. If it is showing that option, you can use that. No problem. Yes. Yeah. I'm, share, I'm trying to share my entire screen so that you can see. Uh, OK. Okay, now I think so. Click on the upload button, uh, then select a video and click on the upload. But I'm not going to show this option. I'll show. I will. Sh Hello, ma'am. Can you mute your mic, please? 
Okay. So let's say about fast. I will find on YouTube video. I will go to YouTube and uh, I'll go to YouTube website and I'll go for a about fast. So there are a lot of videos are available here. So I'll take any one of this video about the first video only. I will take. So this is the fast video. I want to embed this. What I will do, I will go to YouTube link. I will take this link. Okay. Even you can take the link from the address bar or below the YouTube video. There will be a share option. Go there and you can copy the link here. Both are same. Either you can go from the address bar or you can go to the share option and select a link. Okay. So once you take on that, come back to the your uh, the course page and place your cursor where you want to embed a video and then follow the same step go to the edit insert video go to video just put a url here youtube url okay and i'm going to click on the insert media now and there are some other options you, which all of you can explore whenever you are getting a time so basically video size like same like a image size you can uh, give give a image a, a video size also advances uh, show control like for example play button pause button you want to show that or you want to hide a play uh, you know you want to play automatically or you want to play muted video so all the options are there i'm not going to explain each and everything so I'll, you can explore whenever so basically and paste the url and click on the insert media look at here always in a edit mode it will show like this no video with a supported format but don't worry about this okay once you done this insert thing it will work when you click on the save button so i'm going to click on save changes now now if you look at my uh, the section about the course i have a text information i have a image which we have taken from the wikimedia also i have a video here so i just embedded a video from the youtube so th this is actually youtube and whenever you click on this play button no it will connect to the youtube server if the youtube server is not working then your video will not play but you, most of the time youtube never fail to uh, do these things but you can always click on this play button but the one problem is if the uploader for example this video is uploaded by this channel so if they remove this video then it, from your course also it will not show that video that is the only thing otherwise it will play so now when if i click on this directly it will start play within your course okay so is that clear embedding a video yes sir yes sir okay now you can find out so at least one or two video youtube video and try to embed it in your section so i am working in only one section about that about the course but you people you can try to create a co uh, you can use multiple sections and add a, that for example actually the the one mistake i did is this uh, video and the image can go to about this course section so i will do all these changes in the meantime all of you please go ahead and embed a video in the respective sections in the meantime i will change this to uh, next section okay so, done sir okay you are done sir i think you are parallelly doing it when i am explaining right sir <laughs> yes exactly used to it okay yes. okay oh, no problem But you can work on other sections, sir. Maybe you are you just added a content in one section, but try to do another some, at least two to three sections. Okay, so sir. by end of this next ten days or a course, by end of twenty second, I think you'll have at least some. You'll okay. have a running course with the four sections. Then later, anyway, you can update. This okay. Okay, we are off now. Excuse me, sir. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Uh, 
Sir, are we doing this in add an activity or resource? Under that, we are. No, madam. This? You no no no. You just uh, wait. I will show you. There See, also... for each section, there also it is option. There also you can okay. give it, but you can go to the edit section, the edit topic. Edit. Uh -huh. Under that only you do it. But if you want to give this video as an activity, not as a reading uh -huh. material, if you want to give it as an activity, then you can use that uh, add activity and uh, add uh, embed a video. Uh -huh. But I'm not going. Okay. I'm not planning uh -huh. that way. I'm just uh -huh. giving I as thought that video. this edit option is to edit the title only. That was no, no, no. I it will give both. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now I got it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Sir, what if we don't like the video and want to change? We can delete that, sir. Yeah, sir. No, see, this is, that is what I am doing. By mistake, I added the this fast video under the about the course. Actually, I want to add it under about fast. So that's what I am doing now. I I don't want video here. So what I will do? I will select this, and I will delete that. Delete that video, and then save. Or you want to change the uh, video, then you have to double click on that and change the URL. That's it. Okay, now I want to add a video. I'll go to video. I put the YouTube link. Uh, display option. I don't want to change it. Okay, let's insert media. Also, I want to put uh, some information about the fast. So I'll do all the information here. I'll click on save. Sir, we have to go first edit topic and then delete the video, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Select the video itself and delete. Yeah. Okay. Thank or you. Or you can keep the cursor next to the video and press the backspace so that it will delete that. Okay. Okay. So we have only 30 minutes from now. We have some few more options to show. So uh, quickly, once you've done it, please uh, come to unmute your mic and uh, confirm me so that I can continue. Otherwise, I will. It's so completed, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's completed. Video added, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. What's Others? the difference of adding the video and the content here itself and another add an activity or resources? that column huh i will I, I will explain if you add it see here you you can't track whether the people student have seen this video or not but oh, okay. if you add as an activity we can give a conditions only if the students have clicked on this link then it will mark as a completed so activity will have students need to do some action but if it is a as a resource then there is no uh, track for it so basically, that is the difference. Oh, okay, okay. This uh, there always there is a simple option also to give hyperlink. All of you know how to give hyperlink. Even uh, I hope all of you are comfortable to give hyperlink in your Word document. Same way you can give hyperlink. Like if you don't want to show it as a 
video within the course you can just give a copy and paste the link in your text body so that it will come as a hyperlink okay so shall i go ahead now others also can you confirm me so that i'll show you a few other things uh, let's try we can try to add a one or two activities for now then i will show you how to enroll the student that is very very important no <laughs> only without having a student so whatever we are doing it will be for our purpose only so i want to i want to show how to enroll the students okay or you want to invite some you know some of your colleagues to as a faculty for this course so all those things i will show you how to do that like inviting as a faculty or inviting as a registering as a student both i will show you but before that we'll let's try to uh, add some one one or two activity for this can i start now can all of you come back here this yes. is a few, yes, yeah sir. this is a new thing okay uh, so until the until now we just worked on the section okay so whenever you want to change the content or any information in the section you are you are already familiar now you just go to the edit tabs but from now onwards it's a new thing all of you please look at the if you want so for example i want to add an activity or a resource both are same uh, it will come under the same roof so if i click on the add an activity for the about the fast section or what i will do i will i will not add a activity here i will i will go to the general section and i want to add a activity here okay i will click on the add an activity and if you look at the 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 ranges of uh, kind of activities or resources are available here it's quite adequate to run any normal courses okay but if you want to do some additional or extra uh, files embedding options then you have to watch the server only because the genomeo is giving only these options so for example i want to submit an assignment so if i want to take as if i want to submit an assignment for everyone uh, i have to click on the assignment okay uh before creating the assignment i want to give one uh, information about this activity and resources so for every activity and resources there are two levels one is configuring your activity okay one is configuring your activity and another one is the second level is inside the activity what content should go what questions you should ask what kind of activity it is so that is the second level so always first level is the you have to configure your activity okay you have to configure your activity and then you have to save it then you have to then you can able to add a uh, content or a information about that activity is that clear so there are two ways so this is the first level i'm just creating an assignment okay so the assignment name is let's say uh submit the screenshot of your uh moodle course so this is my assignment name if i want to give a more steps or a more detail for the uh, students i can give it from the description section let's say for example i want to give a steps student if students don't know how to submit assignment i can give a detailed steps here first step make sure you have already taken a screenshot of your moodle screen come to here click on this so the detailed instruction can be given under this and this tick mark is if you do this tick mark the description will come under the the main course section only if you don't want to see that then you can load that activity instruction so i'm not going to change anything here okay i can give a reference file also if i want to give some references file i can give that uh, availability okay so submission date so allow submission from when let's say 
the submission will start from tomorrow. I can change the time also. Time is a 24 hours format. So I can set the timings and other things, etc. Due date. So due date is not the cutoff date. So due date, after due date also, students can submit the assignment. But uh, it will indicate, the Moodle will show you who are submitted after the due date. Okay. If you don't want to put the due date, only you want the allow submission and cutoff date. In between, you, if you don't want the due date, you can always disable that and enable cutoff date. Cutoff date is will be 18th only. Uh, so it will start from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock, let's say 12. And remain, uh, so if you want to give a remainder for them, uh, uh, for the faculty to grade, you can enable this. But if you don't want to get a remainder about the grading, you just disable this. I hope all of you are clear about this. The availability. Can I go ahead to the next thing? Yes, sir. I can't see the chart window. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. The next it's a straight forward only. The allow submission, due date, cutoff date, remain with you. Great. So I don't want remain. Then the submission type. This is very interesting. Like submission type, right now it is enabled only the su file submission. Okay. Uh, for example, in this case. The students can only submit the file, but along with the file, if they want to give some details or if they want to write some one or two lines about that, they can't write it because we are not giving the text uh, input. But if you do this, this student can upload a file along with the, the text information. So they can briefly explain about that, the screenshot or whatever the submission. Is that clear? Or Usually what I will do in our model, I will not allow the file submission. I will give only the online text because we always suggest the students to upload all their uh, the assignment on a Google Drive and give the Google Drive link in, in the submission text. That is what we, we uh, do. So in that case, we don't need to give a file submission because anyway, they will not submit the file on this course. They will uh, upload it on a Google Drive and they will get. But in your case, you dis whichever way you want to give that. And word limit, all those things you can give. So, for example, 500 words. The maximum number of files, if you like, I want to take only one. Otherwise, people will upload some multiple copies. So, I want only one. Maximum file size is, as I said, it's 100 MB. Acceptable file type, you can choose the file types. Otherwise, if you want to keep it open, you can keep it open. Otherwise, if you want, if you are expecting only the image files, then go here, take the image file options. So all the images, you can select this. Okay. If you don't want all these uh, you know, complicated things, then leave it as it is. Just leave it open so that it will take, it will accept all kind of. Uh... I hope this is also clear. The one is the availability and the submission type. Any doubts? on submission types. Shall I go to the next part then? Yes, sir. Hmm? OK, fine. Yes, sir. Yeah. <clears throat> so then, then there are a lot of options are there for each and every activity. I'm not going to cover this because it's a straightforward thing. So you can explore it in your whenever you get a time. But I want to show very important thing is the activity completion. So if I click on this activity completion, uh, so here it is giving a two option one is the completion tracking right now by default it is taken as a students can manually mark the activity as a completed this is problem because even though without participating in that activity students can mark it like yesterday we have seen that marking right i will quickly i will go back to my courses uh sorry day two right all of you have participated in some quizzes and other things look at here this tick mark has come automatically based on the criteria. Okay. But if I put this, this condition, then students can tick, do the tick mark by their own. So I don't want that. What I will do, I will go to this second option, show activity as completed when conditions are met. When I select this, based on the activity which you are giving, it will give a criteria here. 
so here these are the criteria for submission this since it is the assignment submission these are the criteria if it comes to the quiz activity the criteria will be changed based on the kind of activity you will choose okay so now the first option is already tick marks students must view this activity to complete it yes let it be selected second require student must receive a grade to complete this activity in assignment I, i'm not going to give a automatic grading so i i will i will not do this also student must receive a passing grade to complete this activity i don't want this also because i'm not giving auto grading student must make a submission this is important otherwise people will just open the link and uh, it will mark it as a uh, completed but if you tick this only the students who will submit click on the submit button then they will do the tick mark is that clear sir or uh, all of you ma'am activity yes, completion okay sir. Okay. Uh, okay so this is yes, what sir. like mainly these are the things one is the the assignment description and title then availability the end date and cutoff date and other things submission types okay you want only the text information or you want uh, students to submit a file then other things you can explore it in your you know whenever you get a the time then activity completion is like this so in activity completion i have taken a show activity as a complete when the conditions are met i hope all of you have note down all this instruction okay uh, i'm going to click on this save and display this save and return to course is there both are more or less same okay uh this will just close the activity it will show this uh, assignment screen whereas if i click if if i click on the the first option save and return to the course it will direct directly it will go to the main course the course page okay this is a submission now look at here we all submission because i am a faculty at other that's why it is showing a we all submission otherwise if for student it will show you submit your assignment okay is it clear about the assignment if this is clear hello yes sir yes sir go ahead sir yes sir, yes, sir. okay so uh, uh, do you want to practice this assignment submission creation then then i can show you how to create a quizzes like yesterday you, all of you have participated in that small quiz the general knowledge but how to enroll student you so no <laughs> yeah that also i will show you <laughs> so okay so let's uh, continue with the uh, the enrolling students okay so i'll go back to the main course page i'll go to pass in education and uh, as i said i created a submission assignment under the general section that's why it is coming under general section so you can create assignment or any activity not only the assignment any activity or resources can given under any sections now it's very important is participants enrolling okay so to do that first i have to uh, create a participants uh, accounts in this okay right now uh if you go to the course this is a course right if i go to the uh, participants it is showing that enroll users but to enroll users i have not created any of their accounts in my what is this site itfc.genomeo under this site i have already account right so same way to for students also i have to create account first so if i click on this enroll students look at here nothing is there because i don't have any students yet so can anyone guess how to create account now see accounts always accounts will work on the site level not on the course level so this is the just a course for example ict in education is just a one course under my itfc.genomeo.com but i have to create a students account on itfc.genomeo.com level the site level so where should i go here or here or here 
just guess any of you know <clears throat> sir i have to enroll the students right hmm so uh but before enrolling see enrolling will work on the huh. course level sir for example first you have to create their accounts on on your site huh. which is your site itfc dot genome on my site yes, yes. same so i have to create an account where should i go create account for this site so i think uh, settings will add, sir, site add, administration oh, yes site exactly admin. site administration settings is only related to this course okay okay first i have to create a accounts okay for that i have to go to site administration okay i have to go to users i have to go to users before like uh, when we started the session you all of you went to courses right to create a courses and category same way go to site administration and this time you go to users okay how do you need user yes there are two option see for example if you want to uh, like let's take an example in your class you have some 120 students and if you want to create a account for 120 students then you have to browse them you will take two hours uh, you will take two days because every student's name you have to type again you have to type their email id because email id is very very important for the account creation okay then other information you have to type so everything like add a new user is for example like you added already you have created already 120 students but you want to create one or two accounts for that i think add a new user is easy for one or two accounts but if you want to add bulk of users there is a bulk user action so you can go to that that i will take it uh, i think i'll explain it uh, otherwise i will share a link for that. but for now i will i will show you how, how to add a new user i hope all of you understood bulk user is basically you have a group of students and you have all the data in a spreadsheet and you just need to upload that spreadsheet to create an account that possibility is available under bulk user action whereas if you want to create an account for uh, let's say for your colleague you want to create account for that you don't need to go for a bulk user you can just go to add a new user and create so let's take a add a new user for now i'm going to click on a user it is asking user name let's say i will create an account for my colleague i put his name arish underscore p and manual account I can create a password for him or else yeah i can create a password here or it will send the random password also so but i want to put all this wherever the red mark is there is a uh, mandatory so arish prasad email address arish at id for chain.net okay email visibility for participants other participants this is up to you and now we keep it open and uh, if you want to upload their pictures you can upload it otherwise just go ahead and create a an user is that clear when you click on the add a new user it will come to this page give a username U username should be unique okay now i have created a arish underscore p and if i want to register one more arish and with the same initial i should not give a reach underscore p and then i have to change it but the name and the first name all those things you can give the real name and the email id email id also unique once you give a email id here then again i can't uh, create a user account with the same email id i have to give a some other email id so then create a user okay so let's say okay Oh, password is mandatory. Let's create password for him. Uh, ITFC at R H R D C C at twenty three. So this is the password I am giving to him. 
and I also tick the force password chain. So anyway, it will ask him to change the password. Otherwise, I will untick this. Then I'm going to click on create user. Again, some mistakes. Okay, password must be at least eight characters. Oh. Uh, one lower case. Oh. They're asking now. I can add like that, no, sir. Enabled or uh, email based self registration. Which one I should choose, sir? Or no login required. <laughs> Sorry, madam. Can you repeat your question, Sujata, madam? Ah, sir. Uh, I have added username. I went uh -huh. to the users. Uh -huh. um, for that, uh, choose an authentication method. It is asking. Uh -huh. Which one I should choose, sir? Manual account or no login or email? Where, where is that option? It's coming, madam. Uh... Uh, it's coming in general. It's coming as a general username under the category of users. Uh -huh. Choose an authentication method. Manual account. You keep it manual account only. Manual account. Okay. Ah. See, since you are, uh, many of you are first time using the Moodle platform, especially to create a courses. Always you will find some of the options are very complicated or very difficult. But uh, like once you start using it some few times, then definitely it's very easy. Like for example, uh, yesterday Guru sir was uh, saying that uh, uh, it's a new animal in our own forest. So basically you need a practice to get a familiar with that new animal. So once you do that, like in our case, like every once in a week, at least we will create one or two courses. So we are very familiar with this, all this features. So we will easily do it. But in your case, you, you, you just need a practice. So after the course also, if you feel that you, when you are trying all those things in your college, always you can contact it for change and you can contact at any time. So we are happy to help all of you to use this model in your uh, actual field. So uh, anyway, we are in the WhatsApp group also. Uh, whenever you are trying after the course also, sir, uh, if you are trying, net... yes, sir. sir the Moodle net profile ID. Yeah. Moodle. In, uh, in create person, Moodle, Moodle net profile ID. You know uh, sir, don't go with all these things. That's what I said. Okay. Please, all of you, oh. carefully listen here. Only give a username. Don't do any changes. Go to password, create a password, then give their username, uh, sorry, their la first name, last name, and the email address. That's it. Don't do any other changes. Don't worry about now because to to explore all these things, you need a lot of time. It's a straightforward only, but we don't want to spend time for that. Instead of that, we can spend for a few more activities we can try it out. You okay, just okay. do some basic need, like mandatory fields, and click on the save. Email is also mandatory, sir. We have to yes, give it. Yes, 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 mandatory. Okay. Sir, one more thing. Uh, uh, in your site, it, your page is showing ad free. In my page and all other pages are showing uh, lots of ads. How to? <laughs> uh, that is not related to Moodle course actually. That is related to browser add-on. Uh, okay. At the end of this, uh, if if all of you are okay to uh, spend another five ten minutes, I will show you how to block all the ads in your browser. Okay. Sure, sir. Sure. I will show you some of the tips, like how to configure your okay. browser and other things. Sir, I have created uh, added user. How to Wait. save, sir? How to? Save. Click on the save button last, at last the bottom. Finally. Lost. Lost. Create user. 
uh email id for students or a user account on so students for on this site so that is a permanent like when and in the future if you create a more courses you just need to enroll them for that particular course okay so uh, if all of you have created at least one account can i show you how to enroll them i'll go to my courses yes sir, yes, sir. please all of you look at that i'm going to my courses now Account creation is, as I said, it is a site level. You have to go to the site level. But now, for enrolling a courses, you have to go to the course level again. So for that, on the top, click on the My Courses. Go to your course. In my case, it's a fast in education. Uh, some of your mic, I think it's un uh, unmuted. You, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Okay, okay, sir. Not nothing, sir. Okay, fine. So, go to the course. You know this course, right? And settings section. Course is mainly to edit your content. Settings is configure your course. The same way, if you go to participants now. Okay. Before it was showing when I click on this. Uh, okay. So if I click on this enroll users. Then I have to click on this. Maybe Arisa is not at uh, activated the account. I think. Then it will give an option here. Oh, why it is not showing? Arisa, if you are in a call, can you check your email? You might have received an email. Sir, I have not received any email, sir. Oh, how okay. come? Okay, but what about others? You are able so to without see. receiving, so without email also it is coming, sir. Uh, I have been able to select uh, two users I have created. Okay, okay, great. But uh, from here it is easy. It's like when you click on the, I will just tell you the steps instead of again going back and uh, trying to uh, troubleshoot that. Can I can I continue now? I will just tell you the steps. You can follow all of you. Yes, sir. When you click on the end roll, okay, here. You, Click on the drop down. It will, it will give you a list of user account you have created. Okay, select the user account. Then here it is the assigned role. For this course, okay. if you want to make this uh, the that person as a teacher, you can select a teacher role. If he is a guest lecturer or if he is your colleague, you can make him as a lecturer or a, as a teacher or a non-editing teacher. If he is a student. From this list, select that student and take it as a student option. And for example, for your course, you want to add one tech person who want to take care of all the backups and adding user accounts, creating user account, all those things. So if you want a one person like that, create his account first from you, then make him as a manager. So manager, he will take care of the creating to the backup all those things for student you take a student is that clear sorry unfortunately i can't select the student because yes, uh, I, I don't have a user account but i hope all of you are clear this is a straight forward thing yes, basically yes, manager yes. has a more tech savvy teacher who is going to teach or uh, conducting sessions non-editing teacher for, for example guest faculty all those things you can give a non-editing teacher uh, and a student Select a student and click on the enroll user. That's it. So once you do this, the student will be able to uh, access this course as a student. Is that clear, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Okay. But until until now, we have covered. Uh, how to host your genome, uh, the Moodle 
website using the Genomeo website, right? And we have created a course. We have configured our course, the basic configuration, not the up to full advanced configuration, but we have covered more or less what are the important thing. We have covered how to uh, change the layout, for example, uh, one topic or a multiple topics in the same page, all those things we have tried. Then we tried to creating a sections in the in the course. Example, in my course, I created a section called about the course, about fast. And inside that, we, we tried to add a text. OK, we tried to add a image. We try to add videos as well. Right. This is what we have covered under general or a course related section. Then we also just now we have tried how to create a user accounts for the students and how to enroll them to the respective course so this is what we have covered so any doubts any anything which is not clear from these things it's already one five now uh, is it okay to take if i other 10 minutes is that fine it will be 115 then i think if it is a problem, then I think uh, I think I'll I will wind up. I will try to show one more activity, then I will wind up the session. Is that fine, everybody? So maybe every everyone can post on the comment box. Yeah. If you are quickly, all of you, instead of waiting for the responses, quickly, please, all of you. Okay, okay. I got four S, five S. Okay. Six, okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If so no, go ahead, sir. if I got a more than, <laughs> if I got a more than fifty percent, then I will go ahead. Yes, I think I I reached my target. Okay, so let's quickly move to the next thing. So I showed how to create a submit. Uh, sorry, create a assignments section. Uh, that also I will quickly I will recap that. So. You click on the add an activity or resources. Go to the assignment. Okay. Once you open assignment, write down the assignment title here. The assignment title. The description which you want to give it for the students. You can give it. Then don't worry about other things. Just go, go to the availability. Uh, configure this inline, cutoff date, due date, all these things. Okay. If you don't want to put any of the dates here, you can always uh, and disable all those things okay then go to the submission type like if you are expecting students to type something in your submission allow this online text or you are expecting only the file then give only the file submission if you want a both you can keep it both then go to the activity completion section this is very important to make it auto completion activities or a manual activities Go to the uh, students can manually mark the activity as completed, which I choose. But by default, it will take as a yeah. By default, it will be the, this. But I will choose the when conditions apply. Once it opens, it will give the condition based on the the kind of activity you are adding. Since it is submission, it is related the activity. All these conditions are related to submission. So student must make submission. All those things. Once you do this. Then click on the save and display. If you click on the save and return, both are same. It will save your assignment. It will create your assignment. Only thing is, it will this will take you to the main page of the course. Whereas if I click on the save and display, it will save the thing. And then uh, because I already created, so I don't. I just I don't want to waste. So it will come to the page here. This is how you will create a content. So once the students are start submitting the assignments, it will tell you here how many participants are there and how many are submitted and how many of for them uh, you want to grade. So all those information will come here. OK, so this is how the assignment uh, creation will work. The same way, it's very interesting thing is the quiz or another the resource type. So let's click on the add an activity. Now, instead of that, uh, if anybody wants to explore any particular activity here, I can do that. 
uh, quiz if anybody wants to explore quiz can i do that or you want a yes, simple sir. things like a page or something page is like a another page like within the moodle you can create a one more page see for example you have a uh, one or two page document about this course or uh, something you have a uh, in your document it is not on the web but you want to create a web page within the moodle so you can go to the page and create your own page within the moodle course so that will open a, like a, any other web page quiz uh, can i drive quiz now and because url and other things are very straightforward for example i want to give a url for my, our own course so if i click on this course as a url action Basically, it will ask you to enter the name. Let's say, click here to open uh, Moodle handout and give the link here. So my handout is here. I'll take this link. I'll come back. And I'll... This is very, very straightforward. So you have basically you have to give the name for your hyperlink and the link and then click on the save and return. Look at here, I just created a URL here. If I click on this, it will directly take me to the, uh, the hyperlink. Yeah. Okay, so this is a hyperlink. But instead of simple things, okay, we can try some, this quiz. But people, anybody wants to quickly see any of these other resource type? Sir, what is hi 5 p sir? Hi 5 p H5P. Ah, H5P yes, is, an, is a kind of a resource to create an interactive content. For example, like some if you some if you see some of the videos, so during the video, when you are playing the video, in between it will automatically pause the video and it will pop up some app activities based on the video. Only if you participate in that activity, then it will continue the video. Have you have you tried those kind of have you seen those kind of things resource sir? or for example you want to create a multiple choice or you want to create a uh, essay or you want to create a storyboard where students can come and write their stories so those basically it's, it's an interactive content creation platform hyp it's very interesting actually uh and we don't have my time to throw that but HYP, yeah, you can create an interactive content for your course. Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Shall I go ahead with the quiz now, quickly? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm going to click on quiz now. Let's see. I told you when, you, when I was creating the assignment submission, the assignment activity, you will have a two level of configuration. One is when you click on the quiz option activity, First, you have to name the, uh, give all the details. So, for example, uh, let's say attempt this quiz by end of TOD, by end of, uh, by end of today. Sorry, by end of the day. So this is my uh, quiz link and description I don't want because I'm just focusing because of the time um, uh, shortage. I'm focusing only on the, the content which are asking mandatory. So this is mandatory name. Then other things are it's okay, optional. But uh, activity completion, right? So again, it's very important. Again, I said uh, it will mark by student by default, but I will take it as a condition. Now, if you look at the condition, compared to the assignment submission, the conditions are different now. Student must view this activity to complete. Anyway, that is tick. Student must receive a grade to complete this activity. I don't want. Student must receive a passing grade to complete this activity. No. Are all available attempts completed? OK. Are minimum number of attempts? So I will say minimum number of attempts at least one time they should attempt this quiz then only it will mark as a uh, completion is it clear about this activity completion sorry i'm going a little fast uh, i hope all of you are able to follow the yes sir. Uh, sir can you please repeat uh, where i'm getting this quiz option 
yeah, you, you you have to go to the uh, you have to go to the add or uh, add activity or resources from the main section. Okay. Here. Okay. So if you do all these things, the first thing is, as I said, quiz name, and the last at the bottom activity completion. If you do all these things, then click on save and display. So uh, if you observe that, I have not yet created a questionnaire. So I have just created a quiz activity. Now it is showing that add a questions. Until this, uh, are you clear, all of you? Can I add a questions now? I will try to add some few basic yes. questions. Okay. Yes. Right now it is showing as the add question. I am going to click on this. Let's start with the questions now. Uh, let's start with the... Uh, Select a multiple items. So click on this edit editing title. Uh, just sorry, I'll go to questionaries. Wait, is ah, here it is. That so click on add, add a new question. See, these are the type of questions you can ask. One is the multiple choice, true or false, matching, short answer, numerical, essay, calculated, drag and drop. So in, in my yesterday's quiz, I had a multiple choice, I had a true, false, also I had this, uh, which is the drag and drop, right? So I will start with multiple choice now. I'm going to click. Set, I'll go with the multiple choice. I'm going to click on add. Now it will ask you to enter a question. Can you tell me the question, at least one question about FOSS? Let's say full form of FOSS. OK, so I'm not doing any changes here. This is mandatory default mark, one mark I can give. Or you want to give a, by default five marks for each multiple choice, you can give five marks. I'll keep it one only. Then these are the answer. So look at here, choice one, I have to type choice one. So uh, fun and opens. I'm just randomly giving some names, OK? Uh, don't mistake me. So choice two, I'll give a right answer here. Free and open. So, so. Like that, you can keep adding the thing. But since it is, this is a correct answer, what I have to do is here under grade, I have to give a hundred percent because this is a correct answer. All other answers are wrong. Okay. So free and Objective purpose to something I'm randomly typing. Okay, don't worry about that. So uh, right by default, it will give a five choices. But if you want to add a more than five choices, you can add a blank three more choices. That's up to you. Then I will click on the save changes. Uh, you must supply a value. What is the value? Okay, okay. Question name. This is a shortcut of the name. So I have to type the same thing in under the section name also. Then I have to click on save. So now one question is created. Now I'm going to create a one more question quickly. I'm going to add a one more time, add a new question. This time I will take it true or false. I'm going to click on add. So true or false also. So now, see, this is my question. And true also, I have to give a statement, correct answer, whether it is a correct or
sir can we conclude is 145 we have another session mm -hmm. Hello, sir. I think. I think his uh, he has problem with network again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think so, sir. For next session, uh, <coughs> who is coordinating, sir? That uh, according to next our... session already it is there, sir, in the uh, WhatsApp group. Yeah, WhatsApp group. Just that, just, uh, uh, all right. Huh? Just we want to inform. Our participants. So, shall we extend the lunch break for another 10 minutes? That only the way. Yeah, uh, please, sir. Uh, please extend uh, another uh, 10, 10 or 15 minutes. Is it? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we can meet at around 2 o'clock. Uh, no, that, that decision has to be taken by <laughs> HRDC. Uh, <laughs> I cannot take that decision. 2 o'clock, exactly. Uh, Arun, sir, Arun, sir, is on online. Mr. Arun, sir. Arun. Okay. Hello, sir. Sir, Arun, sorry. Sir, uh, yeah, today my internet is very bad, actually. Sir, uh, sorry for we, this. We'll have to conclude, sir, yeah. because yeah. we have a session sure, sure. at one forty-five. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, we have I'm to just have lunch also, right? Uh, yes, yes. I understand, sir. That's what I, like I just joined sir. back now. I'm just closing this. Okay. Right. So, yeah, true or false? Just add a true or false. I'm going back to the main course. I'll just. Uh, uh, wind up this the uh, I'll just show the student view now because till now we are looking only the faculty view of this view this is a course uh, if I go to the switch rule now I'll go to student view the same course it will show it as a uh, student so now if you look at the each activity there is a mark as a done that means uh, once the activity is completed, it will, you can uh, students can mark or based on the condition, it will mark it as well. So, yeah. So basically, actually there are few other things, but anyway, uh, we can uh, we can wind up the session. So, but when you are doing it in your college, please always you can contact us if you find any difficulty or you need any kind of help regarding the modal courses. So we will help you. Okay. Sure. Sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So I hope there are more sessions from you, sir. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. I have two more sessions. I think three more sessions. So uh, anyway, sir, very, very, very thank you to you, sir, for uh, patiently taking care of all all the uh, no activities uh, to prepare this module, uh, a Moodle module uh, for us. Uh, I express my sincere thanks uh, on behalf of uh, all the participants and uh, uh, UGC HRDC Calicut University. So we'll uh, meet again in the next uh, session. By the time, I think more questions will be there for you to answer. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you once again. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And thank you for all your patience.